Hello, and welcome to Sound Off with System One. I'm your host, Krista Kornchuk, and I'm here today with our panel of experts to speak with you about career opportunities in the renewable energy sector. Before we get started, here are a few words about System One. System One is a leading provider of specialized, highly technical outsourced services and workforce solutions to critical infrastructure, technology, life science, and government sectors, putting more than 650 employees and 9,000 contractors to work in the United States, Canada, and the UK. As you're tuning in today, please join us in the comments. Our marketing team will be monitoring them. Let us know where you're joining from and which industry you work in. And if you have any questions relevant to, the, to today's topic, please drop them in there as well, and we'll answer as many of those questions as possible. And next, we're going to have our panel of experts introduce themselves. They're also going to be talking about some hot jobs, which you can see by scanning the QR code or by visiting jobs.system1.com. Alexis, we'll start with you. Hi, I'm Alexis Fusabit. I'm a recruiter here on System One's Renewable Energy team. This week, we are currently looking for a high voltage solar superintendent for a solar farm in Princeton, Indiana. This is a one year contract position with hourly pay and $149 a day per diem. If you have previous, previous experience working on solar farms, 100 megawatts or more in an electrical and management role, this would be a great opportunity for you. We are also looking for blade repair technicians to add to our team. We offer hourly pay and $140 a day per diem. If you're looking for a change or even just looking to join the wind industry, we would love to have you on board. And Tony. Hey, uh, Tony Robinette, Director of Renewable Energy here for System One. I'm based in Houston, Texas, uh, with our operations and training center. I've been in renewable since 2008, uh, back in the Clipper Wind Power Glory days. So I've definitely grown with the industry and excited to, you know, know where we've been, know where we're heading, and exciting times. So glad to be here. AB? Hello, my name is Mercedes Bailey, uh, better known as AB Throughout Wind. I've been in wind industry since 2006, with seven years directly in OEM service work, new construction MCE. Uh, I transitioned into project management in, uh, for the last 10 years. I joined System 1 in 2009 as a uh, project manager. My role in, encapsulates management, business development, and recruiting. Fantastic. And if you're interested in any renewable energy jobs or you'd like to learn more, make sure you connect with these three on LinkedIn. And again, you can view all System One jobs by scanning the QR code or going to jobs.systemone.com. And without further ado, we're going to get started with our topic. Again, we're discussing career opportunities within the renewable energy sector. So for our first question, can you give us an overview of the current state of the renewable energy industry, as well as emerging trends job seekers should be aware of? Tony. Uh, sure. Um, well, as many of you already know, the, the renewable industry is one of the fastest growing industries in America and the world for that matter. Uh, it also is coupled with some of the fastest growing jobs in America as well. So uh, the need for wind and solar techs uh, at this moment is unprecedented. So the industry as a whole last year, you know, the renewables industry set a record year for new installations and clean power. Uh, you know, the industry is expected to grow tenfold over the coming years. So, you know, the need for highly trained, highly skilled wind and solar technicians continues to be a top priority. Um, you know, more recently, there's been a lot of excitement around projected growth. Uh, of renewables and, you know, as a whole over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of challenges and rebounding from a lot of cost and supply chain issues, along with a lot of, of new like leg legislative uncertainty around the IRA bill, I think is uh, there's more clarity, you know, that's been rolled out around that, especially over the past few months. Uh, there's a lot better grasp of, of what's all included. Uh, you know, what's attached to the tax credits and prevailing wages and apprenticeship requirements and things like that. So we're definitely starting to see a lot more, you know, stimulating investment, new projects start up and manufacturing, you know, ramping up and coming back online in the U.S. So, um, 
The second part of that question is on emerging trends right now. You know, onshore is definitely becoming saturated in certain areas. So there is a growing focus on the offshore wind market. I know despite delays and cancellations and some uncertainties, uh, the offshore wind market is still gaining momentum. And I think it'll be important for the coastal areas and more centralized and local markets. Uh, we're also seeing for onshore wind, we're seeing a lot more development out west uh, in the U.S., uh, Wyoming, Montana, these states uh, are finally jumping on board. I know there's a lot more investment in the transmission and grid integration in those areas, uh, making it easier for everyone uh, to kind of swallow the pill and make the investment there. So definitely there's more opportunities growing out west. Um, another trend I would talk on, I guess we're, we're seeing a lot more hybrid projects now too. Uh, combining a wind farm with with the, with the solar farm as well, or adding a battery storage element to the project to kind of have an all-encompassing uh, renewable power plant. So I think um, we'll definitely see more of those types of projects as well. It's a lot to take in there. Again, this crew is on top of the trend. So if this is something you're interested in, connect with these three because there's so much to take in with this exciting industry. And Alexis, this question is for you. If someone is new to the renewable energy industry, what kind of background and critical skills make them more successful? Well, certainly having the right background and critical skills can significantly contribute to success. Say, for instance, someone is looking to become a wind and or blade repair technician. When having a first introductory phone call, it's necessary that that individual is mechanically inclined, definitely not afraid of heights, and is okay with living the road warrior lifestyle. Some additional skills I would say that would be necessary is adaptability. The renewable energy landscape evolves rapidly. Being adaptable is crucial. Critical problem recognition and solving, identifying the issues and finding the solutions. Teamwork. Teamwork is a big one. Being able to work well alongside your coworkers and peers is, is a significant skill needed. And I would say mechanical skills and safety compliance. These two would really benefit somebody looking to transition into wind. Fantastic. Good to know. And what opportunities are there for career advancement within the renewable energy industry and how can professionals leverage training to achieve their career goals? AB. Sure. Um, having built my career in the wind energy from, from the ground up, I mean, I started my, full, my first role as Hull Watch. I understand the dedication required to succeed in this field as independent service providers and owner operator companies expand their divisions. Numerous career advancement opportunities are, are emerging. Um, training for these opportunities varies widely from formal project management courses to specialized fields like uh, NDT or non-destructive testing or even engineering. Um, advancement can also be achieved through years of hands-on hands -on experience like myself, uh, enabling technicians to qualify for higher positions without that formal education. I love that you're speaking on this, A.B., because, again, you've been in the industry for so long. So thank you for touching on that. How important is specialized training for careers in renewable energy and what role does it play in ensuring high quality standards within the industry? Tony, we'll let you speak on that. So specialized training, there's nothing more important is the short answer. Uh, you know, many renewable energy projects they have to meet stringent safety and performance environmental standards. Uh, they're setting precedent with this being kind of a new industry as well, uh, as far as the you know, environmental and reclamation and things like that. Uh, so without the proper training, you know, technicians are just gonna lack the competencies they need to effectively maintain wind turbines and solar farms. Uh, it's much different than traditional job focuses as far as maintenance or troubleshooting and things like that. Uh, these technologies are evolving every year. So the need for constant, updated, highly technical, specialized training is definitely a focus uh, for the renewables industry. Uh, there are organizations out there. I'll speak on uh, the Global Wind Organization, GWO. Uh, it was developed by industry leaders, owner operators, manufacturers to create an international set of standards for safety and technical training. Um, what that's done for the industry as a whole is create a framework uh, that we could use for safety to, to increase 
uh, overall safety, workforce productivity, you know, these certifications that these guys get are transferable worldwide. They can take them company to company and projects can be assured that all the companies working those projects or sites are, are all aligned as far as safety and technical training. Uh, so it definitely benefits everyone. Fantastic. And Alexis, what strategies do you recommend for job seekers to stand out within the renewable energy market? Primarily the positions that we hire for have specific certifications. So when entering the renewables job market, make sure to list out your valid certifications that you hold under a certifications tab on your resume. Also list out specific job duties you've performed. If you have wind experience already, make sure to list out duties you've performed on projects, for example, Trevish troubleshooting, scheduled maintenance, lotto, LPS, inspections, grinding, et cetera. If you do not have experience, be sure to list out any experience that would correspond to the skills needed for the wind industry, like any maintenance experience or any electrical experience you may have. If you have experience climbing or working at great heights, definitely be sure to add those as well. And lastly, be sure to keep your LinkedIn updated. Each time you get a new skill, new certification, new job, add it to your LinkedIn. Absolutely. And utilizing a system one recruiter like Alexis, um, that can help you really go over your skills and see if there's anything that's transferable. So make sure you connect with her if you're a little confused on, you know, which skills may be relevant. And what are the biggest challenges facing the renewable energy sector today? And how can training programs like those offered by system one help solve those challenges? AB. I would say one of the biggest challenges are the limited number of qualified technicians specifically in composite repair. Um, to address this, System 1 has developed a comprehensive training program based here in Houston and to recruit from Houston, uh, designed to, to provide hands-on tech, technical blade training um, that can push out techs uh, a, lot, a lot better than, than what we've had in the past. Fantastic. And if you're looking in the comments, uh, Brooke our, on our marketing team just put a link to a video that we have on the Renewable Energy Training Center. So there's a lot of good insight there. And can you discuss how System One's Renewable Energy Training Center is addressing the need for accessible high quality training in wind turbine operations and other renewable energy skills? And what sets it apart from other training programs that are available within the market? Tony, we'll start with you. Yeah, just to kind of expand on what AB was saying, right, you know, there's not enough qualified technicians in the market anymore. I think every every employer's kind of realized that, especially on the renewable side the past couple of years. Um, but System One, you know, took it a step further, realizing that there's a depleted workforce. We need more advanced training out there for troubleshooting, uh, blades, rigging, all these types of work. Uh, so in 2022, we opened and developed our training center to produce and mold our own workforce. Um, you know, our focus, our focus was really bringing in guys, putting our hands on them, sending them through our internal training, uh, evaluated by our own instructors. And I think as more and more customers are moving towards the standardized practices like GWO and certifications like that, we wanted to take a step and, and align our training center with these standards and practices. Um, so our training center, the RETC, we call it, allows us that opportunity uh, to provide that more advanced training and, and uh, outside of GWO as well. Um, as far as, you know, your second part of your question, you know, what makes the System One Training Center a preferred choice? Uh, our response time absolutely would be my first answer. Uh, you can call us today, have somebody in there tomorrow. Uh, we have a lot of flexibility, a lot of course availability. Our instructors are extremely flexible. Uh, you know, day shift, night shift, whatever we need to do, we could accommodate. Uh, we also have an in-house certified training curriculum. Uh, we do not lease or license any of that from anyone. It's all developed in-house. We're very proud of that. Uh, our GWO is a five-star rated certified training center. And I would love everyone to check out uh, the link if we could put that up for everyone to check out our Renewable Energy Training Center. Uh, I think we have a link for YouTube possibly or LinkedIn to provide. 
Absolutely. Yep. We will put that in the comments. Thank you, Tony. And it looks like we have a question from one of our viewers. So we have Jim, who is a geologist and an engineer, and he seems like he is getting the impression that we are strictly talking about technicians man and managing an existing facilities. Can either of you speak on that? Are there more positions than just technicians? So of course, um, you know, we do have our service space business with field services, uh, but we definitely also have the ability to still search and uh, resource for direct hire positions, a lot of engineering, project management support, cost controls, things like that. So there's definitely those opportunities as well. I know we're not really touching on that today, but uh, definitely want to make that known. Absolutely. And we had another person ask this, ask a similar question about off the field opportunities. So again, um, make sure you connect with our wind team on here and also scan the QR code and visit jobs.system1 so you can constantly be up to date on opportunities and you can also put your resume on there so you can get pinged for opportunities in real time. Thank you for the question. And our last question for you, Alexis, is do you have any final thoughts that you would like to share with anyone thinking about entering the renewable energy sector? I would say if you're thinking about it, why not give it a shot? Reach out to people in the industry, ask the questions, do your research. We're actively looking to grow our wind and solar teams, looking for all levels of experience, entry level candidates, or folks just looking to switch over to clean energy or just want to travel and see the world and have a rewarding career. Fantastic. We are out of time for today, but thank you to our panel and thank you for those who commented. We really appreciated the questions. Don't forget to follow System One on LinkedIn if you're not following us already and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of good job seeker topics. Every first and third Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern is a new episode of Sound Off with System One, so make sure you tune in. Our next Sound Off System One live stream will be Friday, June 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern, and we will be discussing how to prepare for the toughest interview questions. We'll see you all then.